Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of today's video, this is Spirit's message for you. And I really feel like this reading, this message is going to be a phenomenal one because I was pretty much done my work for the day. Is it really work if you love it? But I was pretty much done my work for the day. I was running errands and I felt so called to come back to my desk to shuffle and pull cards for you. The cards were definitely jumping out. A lot of them are speaking very loudly. My intuition feels very sharp. So I'm very excited to see what spirit has in store for you. We have three different piles to choose one. Pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. And the timestamps for those will be linked down in the description box and also pinned into the comments. A little additional bonus that I wanted to share with you guys is a message from the Crystal Spirits Oracle Guidebook that is designed by or created by Colette Baron reed and Jenna Della Gradigalia. Gradigalia, I'm sorry if I butchered your name. This is one of my newer Oracle deck additions to my collection, so I don't know it at all. <laughs> so whatever messages Spirit has for you in regards to that, that are, you know, going to be found in your pile, I will read those messages for you out loud. So in the meantime, really give yourself a chance to connect with the energy of the cards, connect with your intuition, ask your ancestors, your guides, or the divine, or your higher self to speak to you to give you clarity in regards to a question that is on your heart, on your mind, or whatever it is that you need to hear right now. Then I will meet you in your at your timestamp. See you soon. All right, my love. So for those of you that chose pile number one, this is your message. I'm going to be shuffling from the mermaid tarot and asking your guides, what exactly is it that you need to hear right now? Or can they answer a specific question for you? Oh, interesting. Okay, give me just a second. Some people love the shuffling and other people don't like it. But all in all, it is a vibe. I feel like there's one more card in here for you guys. And I just got really crazy chills. So let's see what we have here. I, I was debating on whether I should, sh um, not shuffle, but it, whether I should flip this card over first or leave it for last. And I feel like this is the circle. I feel like this is the center of the reading all in all. So first things first, what I can see is a person who obviously is connecting to the energy of their intuition, their manifest, their, their manifesting. Also law of attraction. And I don't know why, but scripting is coming through. I'm really hearing the word scripting. And I see this pen and I see someone writing, almost scribbling things down very ferociously not ferociously, but very feverishly. Uh, with the Knight of Wands, it's so interesting that this card is here because the energy that I get is very enthusiastic. It's very excited, it's excitable. It almost gives me ADHD vibes or ADD vibes. I don't see those things as um, uh, disorders in any way, shape, or form. I, I see them as highly sensitive, um, very creative, brilliant minds and people with a lot of energy that are unsupported by society <laughs> for the most part. But that's the energy that, is that I'm getting here. Um, I'm hearing and I'm feeling when I'm looking at the Four of Wands, I'm hearing the words solidifying your roots. I'm hearing the words and feeling the words grounding. I also am hearing the words substantial. Um, and somehow that's connected to the word income. That's really interesting. So I feel like you guys are trying to manifest and pull in um uh, of resources. I feel like you want something that is long lasting. You want longevity. You want support. You want to feel fruitful. You want to be thriving. The magician card here is speaking to you very clearly and spirit is really speaking to you saying that all of these things that is that you are focusing on are yours and you're actively calling them in and manifesting them, materializing them. In fact, I'm almost getting this um, guidance here, this feeling of tweak it a little bit. Um, act, continue to call this stuff in. Interesting, so interesting. What's standing out to me is the fireball and also the magician, the, the top of the magician card. You guys can't see this. I'm working with the mermaid tarot, but let me go ahead and do my best to show you clear. But they both have this wand with power shooting from the top of it. 
I find that so significant. I find that so, I, the word is substantial. Um, so, like really substantial. I want to Google that for you because for those of you guys that don't know, I get words all the time and the word itself has, like we know what it means, but Okay, of, of, of considerate importance, size, or worth, strongly built or made a, of, of a meal, large and filling, important in material or social terms, wealthy, concerning the essentials of something, real and tangible rather than imaginary. That's a big thing, real and tangible rather than imaginary. That's why you needed to hear that word, substantial. With the Magician card, you are pulling from the ethers the Nine of Wands um, card reversed. You're pulling this vision, this wish, and you are actually making it a reality. This is something I feel that was is is embedded in your needle chart, and I I don't know why, but I'm really getting a strong sense that this is a very highly intuitive group, a very sensitive group, a, and very much a misunderstood group that had visions and dreams since childhood that a lot of people said it's impossible, it can't be done, and yet here you are actively doing it, and yet here you are manifesting it. In fact, I feel from this group, I'm getting chills, you guys, like my, my, I have this sign sometimes where my uh, spirit guide, um, I don't mention his name, but when he is working with me, he tickles my collarbone, and he's doing that right now. So this group is very supported, and also your excitement, your enthusiasm, your playfulness, your belief in this bigger picture, this fantasy, this fantas fantasy thinking that other people think is unrealistic. Spirit is saying, you are right on track. You have always been right on track. This is the pile that you know, imagines a better world. They might have connected to the songs like the Beatles where they're really thinking about, you know, this better, this better, you know, world and envisioning this better world, this better reality. They're not so concerned on, you know, um, you know, little things like little things that the rest that they think the rest of the world, it's, you know, it's meaningless. They're, they're the, the group that says, like, why are you paying attention to that? Like, there are people starving right now. Or why are you paying attention to that? That's that's nothing. Like, you know, focus on this. And they might have been more creative. They might be very innovative. They are very inventors. I'm really getting some interesting inventing energy. Or they're thinking outside of the box. And spirit is really trying to encourage you within that and say, listen, continue to work with us. Continue to manifest with us. Continue to solidify this vision. Pull it from the ethers, <clears throat> from <clears throat> turning it into a thought, <clears throat> a concept, into reality. And as my I'm saying that, my throat feels like it's starting to go out, which I don't feel like it's actual in my throat. I feel like it's your message. It feels very, especially with the magician card, it's ruled by Mercury. It's about speaking it out, speaking it out loud, and taking that thought, more than just a thought, turning it into <clears throat> a plan, a vision, putting it onto paper and, you know, taking those additional steps. Six of Swords is really, there's a message here for that with you guys. What is this? Two of Wands, reversed. I feel, you know what, what I'm getting from this? The Spirit is really clearly speaking to me on this one. Six of Swords, it's like... It almost, this is a very specific, very, very, very specific pile. In fact, I'm actually stumbling over my own tongue, like trying to get this out. I Six of Swords reversed and Two of Wands reversed. It's showing me that you really, guys, you guys really need to be independent. There's not a lot of people, okay, Queen of Cups is here at the base. You have to really emotionally rely on yourself. Your source of power is from your emotions. Your source of power is from your intuitive visions. And you can't share that with other people because they don't understand your vision. They weren't given your vision, so they're not going to be able to see your vision because that vision is for you to see. It's for you to manifest. It's for you to materialize. And Six of Swords says, I don't want, and this is what Spirit is clearly telling me to tell you, I don't want you you know, looking to see what other people are doing. <clears throat> I don't want you talking to them about it. <clears throat> My throat is crazy right now. Like, I'm, I'm actually good, but 
I feel like this is you guys. This is something that you need to kind of, it's not very a boundary thing, but it's, I, Spirit is saying, speak more to us than to them. Tell us if you're worried about something, if there's drama, if there's complications, if there's hesitations, talk to us about it. Don't talk to your friends about it. Don't even talk to your family about it. They want what's best for you, but they don't get it. You know, even if they encourage you, it's going to be so important that you encourage yourself. It's going to be very important that you build it yourself. Seven of Cups, Eight of Wands, it clears up, you know, you don't want to, you know, contribute, especially with Eight of Pentacles, you don't want other outside perspectives and visions and their, their interpretations of things to bleed into the, what has been divinely appo appointed to you. So what is it that you need to hear? This pile needs to hear that they're on the right track. This pile needs to know that the vision that seems so impossible is actually tangible and it's it's manifesting. This is giving me very much Pisces energy and Pisces is connected to, you know, in um, intentional healing, unconditional love, connecting to the idea of finding your soulmate and believing true love exists. Wanting and envisioning a better world for yourself, creating that. And some people might think that you are odd or different or out of touch with reality. But the thing is that you're tuned into a different reality. You're, you're tuned into a higher reality. And because of that, you're able to pull it in. Some of you guys need to hear that it's happening. And Spirit is saying it is. Like really, truly, it is. What do you, some of you guys need to hear Okay, what else, Jess, what is it that I need to do? Look, star card is here. This is about, this is confirming the vision. This is about confirming the plan. This is about confirming your intention, your intuition. Spirit is here saying that. We have king of cups, king of cups reversed. Um, but it's okay because this is saying that sometimes in all of that, it can get really disappointing. It can get really defeating. It can get very frustrating. It can be very isolating having a vision, having these feelings, and you having to um, support yourself in that. Ace of Cups, this is the source of your power, is in your emotions, in your intuition, in your feelings, your intuitive hunches. Knight of Pentacles, Death Card Reversed. Then we have the Hanged Man um, reverse. To me, this is about, honestly, I feel like this is a um, confirmation for those of you guys that feel like you're not making progress. You want to see tangible evidence of it and you feel like it's not happening, but sometimes the big changes are under the radar. The big changes are in how energy shifts and ebbs and flows. The big changes are in how you wake up every day excited and enthusiastic and feeling like something is on the precipice, like you are on the horizon, like well, something major is on the horizon. That will show you that there is something major that is happening and sometimes it's not these tangible you know, things. It could be feelings and intuitions and as I'm saying that, you have the High Priestess and you have the World card. Your intuitive visions are very, very powerful. But also, your intuitive visions inspire the rest of the world. The rest of the world is saying, that's not real. This is not a reality. That can't happen. And that's their dimmed light. But it's the high priestess that says, listen, I don't need to consult what other people are doing because they end up consulting me. They end up coming to me for the things that they can't see. And when you manifest that and when you materialize that, the rest of the world says, holy crap, I didn't know that, that could happen. She's been talking about this all along. He's been manifesting this at his altar since we've known him and now here it is now it's materialized now he's speaking it not only is he talking about it but he's walking in it and those are the energies that it is that i'm seeing for you guys absolutely materializing so that's what you guys need to hear we need to look at your oracle cards i am needing to see what it is that you got here okay peace Wow. So something about this is connecting. Well, not something. It's the first thing that stands out to me is this idea of serenity. I don't know why this isn't focusing clear, but serenity. This is about accepting the things that it is that you can't change and then feeling inspired to change what you can, but either way, having peace with it regardless. And spirit really wants to give you, especially with the star card here, the star card is about healing and, you know, connecting to 
um, what can possibly happen and also consulting your tarot or I'm sorry, consulting the, the astrology, the stars, what's happening in the stars. So make peace with how things currently are, even though you may not always see evidence of it, or even though the path may not always be clear. Release all anger. While I'm looking at that, I'm also hearing release the hurt. The anger comes from a space of being misunderstood, being misled, um, being abused, mistreated, and all of the above. So it's really spirit is saying that's really what's starting to put you on defense is how others, what others have said, what, what has happened that makes you doubt yourself and makes you feel like, I can't look stupid in front of them or this is something that's so meaningful to me that if this doesn't happen, I would be heartbroken and it really forces you to have a guard up and and really is like you trying to self-protect yourself, but you actually confine yourself by not allowing yourself to receive the abundance or the blessings of things that are written for you in your astrology chart, <clears throat> things that... Spirit has spoken for you over your life, things as that you're actively manifesting. So remember that. Next, wow, new idea. So this is, again, what it was I was saying is that there's something that is definitely coming in. It's a new idea, a new birth, a new awakening, a new life, a new relationship, new love, whatever it is that's been on your heart that has not been giving you peace, that's been taking away from your peace. This is something that is new, that is divinely guided into your life. Literally, spirit is pulling it into your life intention this like truly this is about your intuition this is about your visions this is about manifesting all of what is that we're talking about intention surrender oh my goodness you guys serenity i literally just said that and i i swear to you i don't look at these cards before peace and serenity god give me the peace what is it <laughs> i don't remember the serenity prayer but god give me the strength to accept the things that it is that i can't or to accept the things that is that I can't change and to the willpower, I'm going to say that, in order to change the things that is that I can. Okay. Nature. There's a message here too, but I'm going to go with this first. Surrender and release and abundance. So again, we live in a very abundant planet, a very abundant world, and you are actively manifesting. We see that. We know that. But if you are holding on to your anger, if you're holding on to your hurt, if you're holding on to these ideas or what other people are saying that don't serve you or don't match up with what it is that you're actively doing or what it is that you've been called to do, it's going to create blockages. So Spirit says, yo, release that to me. Make peace with it and surrender it. Let go of it. Let go of your expectation. Let go of where you should be or what you should be doing or how it should look or whatever the case is. Let go of that. That's why I feel like nature is here because nature just kind of goes with its own flow. It goes with its own cycles. If we look at the astrology chart and the, the movement of the planets, the placement of the sun and the placement of the earth, we can see the same things, the same cycles kind of repeating themselves. And nature doesn't get all caught up in a bind or frustrated or say, okay, why am I, there's something wrong with me or there's something wrong with this. It just says, this is a cycle that it is and I'm in my life right now. That's what helps abundance to come in and blessings to come in and also helps it to flow. Don't forget that you also had the eight of wands here. The eight of wands is the card of speed, movement, momentum, activity, and things happening very quickly. So when you step back into your state of being and tap into the idea of serenity, you are going to fall into your flow with the ebb and flow of nature. And that's exactly where spirit wants you. Let's see what else other oracle cards you guys have. True offering. I have to read this to you. Okay. May I release the fears, the illusions and addictions that keep me from true offering. May I relax into your plan, trusting that the next steps will always be shown. Use me, love. Use me for the highest. I am yours alone. I love that. Next card, solitude. Some of you got, this is exactly what I was saying in the beginning, actually. I said, you guys are going to have to really spend some time or this thing that's on your heart, that has to be yours and yours alone. You have to kind of keep it in solitude. If anybody says anything or that you normally consult with them for advice, just tell them, you'll pray for me. You know, just give me good vibes. 
And you don't have to tell them that you're not taking any advice right now, but just be like, you know what? I'm surrendering it and I'm releasing it to spirit. I'm releasing it to God. I'm releasing it to the universe. I'm releasing it to whatever in order to figure it all out for me. So just pray for me. Set, set good intentions and good vibes. And what that does is it protects it. It holds it and it also protects your peace, which is everything right now. And it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of courage. Spirit is really saying this right now. It takes a lot of courage sometimes to let go. It's fear that we hold on. It's the courageous person that lets go. And what crystal do we have here? Rose quartz. All right. So we all know that rose quartz, for the most part, is connected to love, romance, and, you know, the heart chakra. But what messages do you have here? Okay. Self-love, self-worth, and being enough worthiness. When rose quartz spirit appears, you are called to pay attention to the one of the most wonderful creations the conscious universe has ever brought into being you have you forgotten how beautiful you are you have so many strengths and unique set of qualities that will be like magical superpowers as you walk the healing path rose quartz spirit has come to remind you of your soul's worth many many people will benefit simply from knowing you and being in your presence drinking in the love that radiates from your heart Trust that the conscious universe is always there to fill you up with the power of love whenever you need it and remind you that you are worthy of all that you seek for you are an exquisite expression of divinity. What a powerful and one-of-a-kind source of healing love you are. I love that message, my loves. Truly, truly love that message. All right, so I hope that that message makes sense. I hope it resonates. If it does, let me know down in the comments. Make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from, and I'll see you in my next one. Blessings. Bye. Okay, my loves, for those of you that chose pile number two, this is your message. Let's see. I'll be shuffling. Okay. Oh, that one snuck out. I was not expecting that. So we have Page of Cups and Five of Swords reversed. Ace of Pentacles, Justice, Nine of Swords, and Temperance. Something about these goldfish are really standing out to me. Okay. The Judgment card reversed, the Fool card, the Wheel of Fortune, and Nine of Pentacles. Now, I know that some of you guys won't be able to see clearly um, these cards, so I'll show them to you as I move along. Oh, um, this amethyst crystal is actually from the Apothecary. Someone reserved it in the last shop update but she's sitting here waiting to get packed up but I just felt like you know she would be happy to sit with me while I'm doing this reading oh and as I'm looking at this I have the Empress card at the very base of your reading so <clears throat> first things first um, what's standing out to me is the nine of swords the justice card and the Five of Swords reversed. I don't know why, but friendship is coming through here. Or it's one of the, that's one thing that Spirit is really wanting to talk to you about. Um, so far is about your, your, your friendships, whether you have a, um, what is it? Like um, someone in the friend group or in your friend circle that you just are intuitively getting some weird vibes off of. This is just something that's coming through that's unrelated, but it's, or maybe it could be a part of the answer to your question, but this is what I'm feeling. So I just feel like there might be someone in the friend group, friend circle, someone that you feel like you can trust that may not have the best or the highest intentions for you. I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't feel like it's a totally good idea for you to spend too much time trying to figure it out. I feel as though spirit is telling you to listen to your feelings, listen to your intuition. Um, the purpose, I have to revisit. I feel like I gotta talk to spirit again real quickly out loud with you guys. But the purpose of this pick a card reading was to ask spirit what messages you need to hear right now and also an answer to your question. And I feel something just ain't, it, what they say, it's something's not clean in the buttermilk. 
um, I don't feel like it's something that is hidden from you. I feel like you're, you, you can pretty much put your finger on it. It just may not necessarily make a whole lot of sense. Look, you have the devil card here and you have the seven of wands. So what this is telling me right away is spirit is to answer your question. Spirit is trying to guide you back into a space of really honoring your intuitive feelings, your intuitive hunches, and you don't necessarily need to go digging to go look for confirmation to things that is that you already know. The other thing is that if there is something bigger that you want to be focusing on or that a blessing that is that you want to receive, Spirit is clearly saying, listen, before you get into that, before you step into that territory, make sure that you're taking care of these tinier issues, these tinier problems that can, that can turn into bigger issues. I'm, all, I'm almost getting a vision of an ostrich that hides their head under, like, under the sand. Like, they put their head in the dirt because, or they keep distracting themselves, or maybe they keep procrastinating. There's something really, really small here that is really, really bothering me. It's almost giving me, like, pebble in the, in the shoe type issues right before you go for a marathon. If you know that there is a pebble in your shoe right before you start running, no matter how hard you're training, it's that small pebble that's going to take you down. It's that small pebble that's really going to create more pain and suffering that could have been avoided. Spirit is saying, listen, I know it doesn't feel like it, but you want to resolve that issue first before you step onto, you know, before you, before they you hit the ground running. Or if you are feeling and seeing that there is something that is off, address it and deal with it now. I feel like this pretty much speaks all by itself, all for itself. I feel like it's more of a matter of you making the time, taking the time out in order for you to address and solve these issues. Um, okay, this card, these cards obviously want to jump out. We have the Magician card, Seven of Cups, Four of Cups reversed, Ace of Cups. We have Three of Wands and King of Pentacles. So this is showing me that there is a whole like the, I just heard the world is your oyster it feels like there's a lot that can come from even that tiny pebble the world is your oyster so just like within in the oyster shell if a little sand which is essentially a, a pebble if it gets into the oyster and it sits in there and builds up over time it starts to polish itself it starts to build into something of more value the longer that it sits in there the better so what this is telling me is that Spirit is trying to show you that even though you may not want to see this tiny pebble, even though you may be distracting yourself, even though you may not be wanting to deal with this, if you put it in the right place, it can turn into a, a, a pearl. It can turn into something of greater value. But it's a matter of seeing the problem, knowing what it is, addressing it, and taking it to the right place. You take the pebble out of the shoe, you put it into the oyster, put it in a drop in the bottom of the ocean, check back in 15 years, and boom, you have a bigger a bigger thing. Um, the other thing that I'm seeing here too, with the Seven of Cups, is I'm seeing explore your options. There's something here that it just feels like no matter what you do, no matter what you're looking for, it's just not right. And some of you guys are starting to maybe think, you know, is it me? or should I settle, or is this as good as it's gonna get? And Spirit is saying, no, continue to explore your options. It has nothing to do with you, you know, the options that have been available to you that that's as good as it's gonna get. It's more so a matter of timing. All the planets have to be aligned for you to be at the right place at the right time. So keep your energy and your expectations high. Oh, oh my goodness, 10 of Pentacles is there especially when it comes to investments, especially when it comes to your future, your longevity, your family, your health, your well-being. Make sure that you are not just settling for all right, well, these are this is all I got. So this is all I, you know, all it can be. Really try and, you know, um, how like step more into a space of, you know, patience and keeping your expectations high so that you aren't just settling for less. Judgment card here reversed and the Fool card and the Wheel of Fortune is confirming all of what is it I just said. Judgment card wants to deal with the issues that, you know, we feel like we might have let them go or we feel like, you know, we 
you know, they like if it's a part of the past that it doesn't, uh, uh, you know, um, impact us here in the present. And the thing is, is that it all it all ends up tying together. It all ends up connecting. The the sooner you know that, the better. So with the Fool card, it's like, okay, and also the Wheel of Fortune is that as you're entering into this next cycle in your life, make sure that you are resolving and you are addressing those things that are dormant, those things that are hidden in their caves, those things that you've tried to keep in bubbles or in their coffins or whatever. The Judgment card is normally connected to coffin energy so because it's going to show up it's going to surface it's going to be reborn it's going to be rebirth it's going to resurrect now let me change my battery really quickly because it's starting to blink at me and then we're going to dive into your oracle cards all right my loves so your oracle cards are as follows to the sea i love this because we were just talking about the oyster and what do you find in the bottom <clears throat> of the oyster what do you find in the bottom of the ocean but the oyster shells? So this is showing me that you are, you know, on your way. And it kind of reminds me of um, Dr. Seuss. You know, your day is coming and you're destined for great things. But sometimes when you're in the middle of the ocean, you know, you could really be like, well, I don't know. I'm just getting this real strong sense of patience, patience, you know, waiting and, and compass. I feel like you're being directed, but I just, I still am getting this sense of, you know, addressing these little plaguing small issues. Page of Cups is, I teach this in the Sacred Circle Tarot School. It's not a good or a bad card. There's no such thing as a good or a bad card. It just is what it is. But Page of Cups in this case seems to me to be a little bit I don't want to say problematic, but seems to be something that really needs your attention right now. So spirit is wanting you to look at that. Okay. Let your inner beauty shine. So some of you guys might be having issues with, oh my God, this reminds me so much of the oyster too, because it's inside. Let your inner beauty shine. Um, I just feel like this um, stage where you might feel, I'm really getting a strong message of some of you guys feel like you've been hidden away for so long. But there's aspects within you that are at changing, that are developing, that are strengthening, that are becoming more beautiful, that are becoming more vibrant. And they do have to do a lot with how you feel about yourself, how you look, um, how you dress, how you speak, how you approach the energy that is that you're exuding. And that's okay. So as you're developing this, it can feel a little isolating. It can feel like clock, 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 you know, clockwork, when, 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 but really continue to allow that to develop. And I'm also seeing with the judgment card, those smaller issues, for some of you guys need to hear this, that some of the issues of your past that you feel make you difficult or complicated or hard to love or make you an unworthy un, um, candidate or whatever the case is, they actually add to your value. So let that, let those aspects within yourself that or, you know, contribute to your story, that contribute to your uniqueness, let them shine. Let people see that healing. This is, again, giving me a lot of oyster vibes. Again, the oyster within the pearl. The time that you take to develop yourself, to cultivate yourself, is everything. And that's the space that it is that you're at right now. Signs. There are signs all around you all the time, especially with this compass here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can. There's signs all the time that are showing you and pointing you in the right direction that yes, you know, you are right on track. But sometimes if you just take where you're at in this current destination and say that this is all that it will be, or this is all that I will amount to, or this is all of what my worth looks like, you're gonna be wrong. Because there, the whole world is your oyster and there's so much of you that's gonna shine. There's so much of you that you will share. And there's so much of you that you have to be careful that you're not sharing it because there's people take advantage guardian angel your guides want to speak to you and tell you that we are here with you i know that you feel like it's not happening or that it's not you know you're you might feel a little lower energy a little lower self-worth or whatever the case is but you are so protected in fact you see that she's looking out for her in fact they're sending you signs all the time that you are right on track that you are right on target and that you don't need to go any faster or do anything more or less than what is it you're already doing positivity this is about maintaining you know a positive state of being this is not toxic positive positivity where you're not honest about your feelings or honest about your frustration or honest about things that bother you but remembering that the bee always finds the honey and you are developing, you know what I mean? So 
you know, and that, that shows that you are evolving. You are becoming your higher self, that there are blessings that are manifesting, that are materializing for you. You just want to keep your head up, head held high. Contentment. This card brings me to the Nine of Cups. And this is showing me that regardless of where it is that you want to go, because that's obviously why you're out in the sea, because you're out there seeking, regardless of where it is that you want to go, spirit is trying to call you to have gratitude for the current moment because it's this moment that's helping you to cultivate your energy. It's helping you to cultivate your beauty. It's helping you to define and distinguish your beauty, your talents. Oh, look, orange calcite. This car, this crystal is really so much about self-worth and self-value, but let's go ahead and read it. Um, okay, so orange calcite. Creativity, the pleasure of birthing something new. Wow, the oyster. That's so true. Sensuality and sexuality. The creative force of the conscious universe flows through you. And this is a fertile time for you as, as you feel your connection to the source of all inventiveness. Right now, your ability to channel creativity and birth something new is exceptional. Orange Calcite Spirit messages to fully inhabit the role of artist and co-creator for you are the creative type right now. What? Wait, did I say that in the beginning of this reading? I feel like I did. Okay. Being playful as your ex, or maybe it's pile number one. I can't remember. Being playful as you exercise your imagination will help you recognize what you want to co-create and how you might take action toward fulfilling your deepest desires. As you begin to craft something new, you will feel inspired and filled, filled with optimism, positivity, because the conscious universe is actually coming through you to express itself. You are both the created and the creator, an expression of the conscious universe and one who expresses its creativity. Fulfillment, purpose, and joy are the gifts you receive when you become a clear channel for the artistry of the conscious universe. Being to heal, oh, begin to heal the wound of the past. Wow, we were just talking about that. Begin to heal the wound of the past created when you were told no or you said no to your potential and say yes to yourself today for your creative soul is urging you to let it express itself. Start by drawing, painting, dancing, singing. Use any art form that puts you in touch with your awesome inner artist for it will help you remember how powerful a co-creator you really are. I love that, you guys. So that's Spirit's message for you. I hope it makes sense. Please let me know down in the comments if it resonates. Give it a heart up if it served you in any way. Share it if you would like. And make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. All right, my loves, for those of you guys that chose pile number three, ooh, this is your message. All right, so right away we have, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, okay, spirit, I just heard the word denial. Um, especially with two of swords here, this is denial. Like, well, two of swords is about, you know, this blockage in energy, things not really coming and going, things kind of like locked up. And I feel like whether, I don't know if this is, you might be in a state of denial, especially with six of wands reverse here and eight of swords. I feel like if, if it's not you in a state of denial, it's spirit saying, listen, you know, we will not give to you something that does not serve you, and we want everything to be authentically aligned. That's exactly what I just, you know, am hearing and feeling. Six of Wands, to me, says, I just heard, sure, you can do it, but should you? <laughs> oh, ma'am. Wow, Page of Wands, Two of Cups. So this could be connected to, whoa. Give me a moment. There's a lot of different things that are coming through here. I just heard, again, back to should you, sh you, yes, sure you could do it, but should you? It's that question, should I, what should I do? Denial. Talk about that. I just heard. Okay. I Eight of Swords. I'm seeing. This is so interesting because 
Eight of Swords is about anxiety. It's about intention, attention. Where does it our our minds go? Some of you guys are like, just how? How? That's what I. That's what spirit is telling you right now. So with intention and attention, it's where your attention goes where it starts to get chaotic. It's what happens with your intention when the energy becomes chaotic. And spirit is trying to tell you right now, I just heard the root, the root of what this issue is, the root, the ace of wands here, the, the if, we, if we were to pull it up, we would see, I'm seeing termites. So what this means, because some of you guys are like, just break it down for us, please. Okay, what this means is that Something that may look really good on the surface, like on the external, has rot on the inside, has termites. Something might be breaking down. It may be beautiful, but behind the scenes, there's something that is breaking down. There's something that isn't right. And you may not necessarily know it. You may not feel it. It may not be obvious to you, or it might be, but either way, it's there. And spirit is saying with denial, it's not only is it what you can see or what you can't see, it's what they can see and what they are denying from you, like what they are denying to you, if that makes any sense. And Six of Wands says that we could give this to you. This could really happen. This could really come to fruition, but is that is that the best is that should it like really is that the best um you know outcome for you the whole world is looking in i'm hearing glass like glass house you know don't throw a rock at a glass house so or be careful like throwing a rock in a glass house the whole world can be looking in and saying oh she has this or he's doing this and they're successful and this but internally it feels like there's something a little off. And with that, it's not a punishment or anything like that. It's that Spirit is saying, especially with Page of Wands, I and the Two of Cups here, I just am getting a strong sense of, I don't want to say weight, but I feel like if you feel called, because again, it's up to you. If you feel called to wait, this is a very specific message. If you feel called to wait, you will be surprised who, what will come in. And the, the situation is resolving itself, very quickly resolving itself. In fact, anything from the past that is not already, you know, restored, or good or right or healthy or healed is in the process right now of actively healing itself, actively being invested into. So anything that you feel is not working out is actually for your highest and greatest good. So what I'm remembering is when they say, you know, um, was it is it denial? Denial isn't rejection or rejection. Don't take it personally because it's redirection. It's just kind of redirecting you into the space and the stage that it is that you should actually be in into a better circumstance. And you want, especially with the Empress card here and the Fool card, you want to be an authentic, true being of love and light without burden, without handicaps, without chaos, without dysfunction. You don't want to have it all, um, I heard someone say this before, putting makeup on a pig. It's like, you know, which is such an awful statement, but someone older said it to me and I was like, okay, that makes sense. So I'm just gonna, it applies now. So it's like, you don't want to paint something into something other than, than what, it, it, what it is. And you don't wanna get something that is not actually what it is. You want to make sure that whatever venture you're going on, whatever relationship you're entering in, it's not all talk or all what it looks like on the facade, but also if it looks beautiful on the outside, make sure it's beautiful on the inside. If it's, um, if let's say this is you, like maybe you might be 
kind of in, at odds with yourself about certain things that you might be projecting to the world, but internally you might be feeling some another way or you might be doing something other than that. It's really much a big message about integrity. And the Eight of Swords card here is really telling me that there's something that really is bothering you. And it's not so much an intuitive feeling of, you know, I intuitively feel like something is not right. I just feel like there's something that you're actively seeing. And the Eight of Swords usually is not so much what it is that you see, but what it is that you feel. But I feel you know. I feel like you know exactly what the problem, you know, what, what it is. Well, a good portion of you guys do. So let's see if there's anything more that needs to come through, especially with this shell. I want to focus my energy on that. Eight of Cups is here and the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys are really being called by spirit, led by spirit. I was going to say called, but you guys are being led by spirit to walk away from certain things. And I feel like you are really in good hands. Okay, let's, what is this Empress energy here? Four of Swords. I just heard, I don't want to be put on the back burner for too long, or I don't want this to be put on the back, the back burner for too long. It feels like um, I'm actually getting a vision of a kettle that's, you know, you're waiting for, it's waiting for the water to boil and you just feel like it's been whistling for a long time and you just want to make yourself a cup of tea. I feel you. Hanged man, yep, five of wands. Literally, five, the hanged man and the five of wands together is that card of, can we go, can we go, like, please, 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 like, I want to go, like, I want to move, I want to move, I want to move. But something ain't right. With eight of pentacles here reversed is showing me six of pentacles, king of wands. Uh, you, you, spirit is saying, be a com be confident. Be confident, trust. Your instincts are sharp. Your instincts are very sharp and something or someone is kind of withholding something just, you want to make sure that it's balanced. You want to make sure that it's equal. You want to make sure that your investment, your energy is going to go the distance. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, the Tower card. There is something else out there for you. Really, really strong, really, really prosperous, really, really promising timing. I feel like I want to talk to you guys about timing. Ten of Wands, Queen of Wands, Page of Pentacles. It, this is, everyone's going to be different. Everyone's going to be different. I don't feel like this is longer than 2.5 years, but that's the longest. So let's say someone is in here saying, you know, whoever picked this pile, the very worst of it would be 2.5 years. And in that time, there's a lot of things. But in the meantime, I think the majority of you guys, it's going to be within a year. Big, big changes, but you need to you know, prepare. You need to be able to, ten of wands, go the distance. Go the distance. Don't give up. Don't just say, okay, this is it. Let me just settle. Let me just, you know, I just heard burnt out. You know, you don't want to be burnt out. Seven of cups, explore your options. The empress cards is definitely saying that there's blessings here. You have the ten of pentacles. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Because not only does it serve you in this moment, but the next moment, years, 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 and years, and then also generational. So you decide. Ultimately, again, it's you could do it, but should you? <laughs> and you know the answer to that. Spirit is also saying, listen, we want to work with you, Three of Wands. We are working with you when it comes to making the right moves, when it, I just hear adjustments, and the ways that it is that you need to adjust the ways that is that you need to learn because this is a big learning moment for you. That's a very specific message. And if it makes sense, you guys have to let me know down in the comments for sure. Let's look at your Oracle cards. Not for you. I could not make this up. Even if I tried, I have not seen these cards, not for you. And I literally was talking about denial. Cleanse your energy. You are a spiritual teacher. Look at all the purple. Let go of anxiety. You have the Eight of Swords. Open your third eye. 
crown chakra realness peer pressure look i th i forgot this card this pile had a lot of cards all by itself reach for the stars and take time for yourself so don't let anybody obviously you guys but don't let anybody tell you do it if you've known your spirit you shouldn't be doing it like it really brings me back to the original message that, as i said is that you know, you could do it, but should you? What do you want? What are you feeling? There's a lot of crown chakra realness going on here. Your crown chakra is speaking to you really strong. But are you receiving that message? Are you respecting that me message? Are you humble to that message? Because if not, you could really be stumbling into, you know, some trouble. And it's not anything that you can't deal with. It's more of a matter of spirit is trying to make your life easier, not harder. So, you know, just kind of work with that. <laughs> That's a big message that Spirit is saying. This pile says, yo, can you, can you work with me? Work with me, not against me. I'm really trying, like, that's what it is I'm getting. I'm almost getting a little agitation and frustration with spirit being like, yo, here she goes again, or here he goes again. You know, we'll give them all the signs and we'll tell them, stop worrying about this, and then you're in good hands, and yet they continue to push and push and push and push. So open your third eye, you spiritual teacher. You know, you've been around the block a few times, and by that, I mean you've been around, you've lived this life many times. Okay, so cleanse your energy of all the anxiety that you're harboring, that you're holding on to, because that's just creating a blockage. That's creating, um, you know, internal conflict and also resistance. And with the take time for yourself card, you're, you being able to relax is going to help you to you know, relax your mind, body, soul, spirit is going to help you to connect even deeper into your intuition connect even deeper into your higher sense of knowing so that these answers or when you get an answer that is a denial which means that no the answer is no that you're not feeling wounded by it you're not feeling punished you're actually realizing that this is spirit making sure that you are not a hypocrite this is spirit making sure that you are being blessed in a way that is authentic and aligned with your highest and greatest good and your highest purpose and that is the biggest blessing dreams so again this is the subconscious you can ask, for those of you guys that are really tired or wounded or weary, you don't have to go into your meditative space all the time or your sacred space. You can actually set intention that while you sleep, spirit speaks to you. Some of you guys that are very intuitive have stopped having dreams. Think about that. Have you stopped dreaming? Have you stopped prophesizing? Have you stopped having visions? It's because there's a blockage and you're too much in your mind and not in your third eye sense of self. You're, you're kind of blocking off your crown chakra. So... Use things like lavender, Epsom salt baths, um, um, massage, um, uh, oils, walking, grounding, eating, staying hydrated, and eating healthy. Use those things to get back into alignment, okay? Retreat. Holy crap. You guys, <laughs> this, you know, this space is always so strong with the intuitive messages and everything always aligns. I don't think I've ever had a reading that didn't all fall together so perfectly. It's always sharp. It always is. But retreat and take time for yourself. These things go very well hand in hand. And it's that retreat right now that is everything. Some of you guys are really wanting to get out there and play the game, like legit with chess. We have the chess board here. So it's not so much about you know, making a move right now, it's about you move, I'm gonna strategically move here, and then this, 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 and then bam, got you. So you don't need to knock it all out in one shot, but it's the moves that you're making or the time that you're taking to strategize, the retreat period is where it's going to end up making you very, very powerful, make it very, very strong, and manifest some big, big things work so some of you guys this is connected to your work and ambition i'm actually feeling like this might actually be your problem your ambition and your work might actually be your problem they might have be handicapping you you might be so caught up in your survival mode or your root chakra or everything else that you feel like you need to do or that you're not doing that is actually blocking off your crown chakra from speaking very clearly to you and for others this says we want you to incorporate more of your work into this choice this decision that is that you're going to make and i feel really called to talk back to this 
amethyst crystal. I don't know if you guys know this. I don't think I said it in this pile, but this is actual a client's. They bought it in my apothecary within one of the last shop updates. I started putting crystals in the shop, which I love. Um, but the amethyst is also connected to the crown chakra. So if you guys have amethyst energy, please, or amethyst crystals, work with the energy of this crystal because it will really help you. It also will calm you. That's so important. I have amethyst crystals all over my space. There's one right here. And you can't see it, but there's one in that corner right there. Big ones. I mean, this is as big as this one, you know. This thing is almost heavier than me. Okay, obsidian. So let's go ahead and see what... <sighs> Some of you guys need to focus back on your breathing. Wow. Observing the self, self-reflection and know thyself. That right there is everything. That right there is a message. That right there is so in alignment with not for you and being authentic and moving from a higher space of integrity and truth and honesty, not just with what the world wants for you, what the world sees for you, but what spirit sees for you and honoring that and saying that is what I will accept. Nothing less than that. Okay. When you look in the mirror, who looks back at you? How do you view yourself? Do you look into your own eyes and see someone willing to acknowledge the past and learn from it? Do you see someone willing to step into a new identity, one more suited to the life you want for yourself? Whoa, 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 whoa. That just, wow. That, that. All of us are ever changing and a mix of past, present, and hopes for the future. The challenge is to trust that the you that you are becoming will be loved, cherished, supported, even if you are still just exploring your potential, still unfamiliar with the new territory you have entered. As you ponder what you wish to change, especially in this retreat space, taking time for yourself, as you ponder what you wish to change, love the one you're with, you love yourself in all of your complexity knowing that whatever strengths you need are present and obsidian spirit is here to amplify them through the power of self-awareness just as in observing a particle or a wave the observer can change its form so too in observing yourself can you begin the process of personal transformation you are going to love the you that you are becoming love it so that's my message that is that i'm seeing for you guys i am setting big big blessings over this pile and to each of the piles before that i want to invite you to comment down below and let me know how it resonates if it does resonate or if you don't want to say anything a heart will do just fine i want to also lastly invite you to subscribe to my youtube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and i'll see you in my next one bye